The pandemic has been around since March 2020, but how does one find out which variant is causing havoc or which variant is spreading faster or if there's mutation in the coronavirus since it caused the pandemic in the beginning of March 2020? Now, genome sequencing is the only way to figure out variants and Mumbai has got its own genome sequencing lab. This was after the pandemic. As you can see, it was inaugurated by the Chief Minister on the 4th of August 2021. And now, of course, the lab is functioning. But it's come into focus now because of the new variant that has been discovered. And given that Mumbai has so many international passengers that are coming in, the new variant is important that it is detected fast. And patients who are found positive, we must determine that if they have the new variant or it's some other variant that is already existing. Joining me now are people who are running this brand new you know, genome sequencing lab which is under the municipal corporation of Greater Mumbai and the lab in charge of course is Dr. Jayanti Shrashtri and I have with me Dr. Naina Ingole who is going to tell us all about the process and how these machines are working 24-7. Firstly tell me why is genome sequencing important in COVID for the layman? Basically, in genome sequencing, you can come to know which variant it is. We know that initially when the Wuhan virus started from China, the variant was different than we had alpha, beta, you know, it has been... Yeah. Made, and when the India, the second wave came, it was the delta variant. So anytime the virus, it mutates, it comes a new variant. So again, the immunity may not act and you may have another third wave. So that's why it is very important to know what are the prevalent uh, variants which are uh, in a particular area. So ac accordingly, uh, measures can be taken to control those and even for the treatment and management of the patients. So for treatment, measures, management, how to treat, how to manage, you need to know which variant is not Now, why is, it, why is it important at this point to also do genome sequencing? Right now, we have an Omicron variant which has been reported as a variant of concern recently by WHO. And we have many people which has been detected in 13 countries across uh, the world as of today is what I understand. And uh, we may have uh, this new variant which is coming up which is reported to have a higher transmissibility. So we may have an increased number of cases which is being seen in our country. And therefore, it is important to know whether this, uh, for the control measures to be put in place, therefore it is important to know what variants are there prevalent because till now we didn't have any Omicron in India. So suddenly a new variant will come up. So we'll have to take appropriate measures. So ma'am, uh, tell us a little bit about these machines and uh, how uh, your team here works. Yeah. So what are these machines and uh, yeah. This is Vidushi, that is Cream and that is Sanika. So these are the backbone of our uh, laboratory and they are the ones basically who are running this whole program. They are all microbiologists. Uh, uh, yeah, they have a microbiology and molecular experience basically okay. and the whole genome sequencing. This is right. a new generation sequencing we have with us. This, this is the machine. Yeah, this is the machine. These two machines we have with us. Yeah. We, uh, we at a time we can process up to 376 samples uh, for SARS-CoV-2 sequencing right. in this. And, and it takes almost four to five days for the results to come. So for at least about, you're saying like about 300 samples, four to yeah. five hours uh, in one? Four to five days. Four to five days. Yeah. Uh, so, and in this machine? Yeah, no, not only in this machine. No. The full process, it takes at least three to four days. All right. Uh, so, ma'am, how many tests are you doing every day uh, for genome sequencing in, uh, in this lab currently? Uh, genome sequencing is not being run daily basically because it is done as and when we collect the samples which are of interest and which we need to know. Uh -huh. And as you know, the last one month, the positivity in Mumbai was very low. So our genome sequencing has not, so till current we have done four rounds of genome sequencing which have already been reported and that it has been published in all the right. newspapers. So with this Omicron variant, are you now looking out for this and how do you look out for this variant? What are the, what are the you know, processes that are involved in finding out this variant? Basically, genome sequencing will tell us all the genes which are present in a particular virus or particular uh, strain of the uh, virus which we are sequencing. So all the genes, whether it is RDRP, so any changes or any mutations are present that can be identified by the genome sequencing. So even this Omicron can be identified and even if any other variant is there, so it is not separately we have to look for Omicron. When we do the genome sequencing, we will come to know what variant it is and that can be identified. All right, ma'am. So in the current Omicron variant, what is this S gene that everybody is talking about? What is this S gene that you are looking for? Basically, when you look at the COVID virus, the structure of the COVID virus, there are various uh, antigens which are present and various genes which are present. One of which is basically the S gene. We have like similarly RDRP genes are there, N gene is there, ORF and uh, AB genes are there. So when we look at this S gene, there are a lot of mutations which are present in the Omicron. And not only the mutations are present, the uh, RT-PCR kits with the S gene 
are not able to detect this uh, virus. Right. But fortunately, in Mumbai and Maharashtra, the RT-PCR kits that we are using do not detect the SGM. So the chances of missing out the Omicron by the routine RT-PCR test is less in our uh, setup. All right. So you're looking for this specifically as gene ma'am because I was just going through what uh, you know we know so far because this is a new variant. So if the missing S gene in RT-PCR test you're saying can point to Omicron, right? Yeah, so that's why DMC is also in the process of procuring certain kits which can detect the S gene. So an RT-PCR positive sample which has the other genes but do not have an S gene can tell us whether that it might or it can indicate that this might be an Omicron. But there are other variants like alpha which are also S gene negative. So it can give us an idea, but it cannot tell us definitely. Definite answers will only be given by a whole genome sequencing. And, ma and we know uh, from interviews that 466 travelers from countries of uh, concern have landed in Mumbai. So are you going to be looking at all these samples in the lab? Uh, those uh, uh, people who have landed are being tested by RT-PCR. Uh -huh. And all the RT-PCR samples which are positive, positive will be referred to us for sequencing. All right. So, ma'am, uh, obviously this is perhaps you're at the battlefield, you know, tackling the virus and uh, this is a new kind of virus very little is known uh, so uh, how has the experience been because uh, many felt that it was really necessary for Mumbai to have its own genome sequencing in lab and now that it has one how has that experience been uh, Mumbai uh, didn't have any whole genome sequencing and when we used to send samples to other genomes either in Pune or Delhi it used to take months for the report to come now because we have our own gene sequencing which has a very good capacity, we will get a report early and then it will help us to control that uh, situation much better and faster. What is the time frame? Say ma'am, I hand over a positive sample to you today. Uh, say uh, of these 466 travelers, hypothetically I am speaking, I give you a sample and a positive sample that has tested RT-PCR positive. Now how long will it take from you, uh, for you to figure out uh, which variant is it? Basically, we do a batch processing and uh, ideally we test 376 samples at a time and once we have all those 376 samples ready, it takes us almost 3 to 4 days for the right. report to be ready. All right. uh, 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 how long are you all working? Are you all working? Like everybody, you know, during the pandemic, the healthcare staff have been working 24-7 in all many cases. Our staff is working really hard since the last few days. I think almost 10 to 12 hours they are working daily. All if right. not 12, at least 10, so definitely they are working. Right. And they are our backbone. So I think we are owe a lot to all the healthcare yeah. providers who have been working. And how, what is the strength of this lab, ma'am? This uh, lab is basically a molecular uh, reference lab, basically. So we do other tests apart from COVID also because uh, Kasturba Hospital has a regional HIV reference lab. We have a molecular reference lab for infectious diseases like Depto, Dengue and H1N1 also. We also have a viral uh, diagnostic and research laboratory here with us. So all this, so together I think we would have a staff around 25. All right, ma'am. Thank you so much for speaking to us. So this is where Mumbai's positive samples are tested for genome sequencing. These are the new state-of-art machines where samples are put in. Around 300 samples go in at a time. And then, of course, the entire process of genome sequencing takes about four to five days, as ma'am explained. But why is this important? And the reason it's important is because it is through this process you can figure out which variant of the coronavirus is spreading fast in the city or is prevalent in most of the samples. And that gives health authorities an additional idea of how to fight the virus. What are the, you know, sort of signs that this is a variant that is not prevalent in India or is a new variant that has recently come into India. All of these things can be decided only through genome sequencing. And these state of the machine and these state of the art machines are working 24 hours to sort of give Mumbai's health authorities an idea of which variant of the virus is prevalent in most COVID samples that are testing positive here in Mumbai. And this team, like I, I'll, I'll ask my camera person to show you, this team is working 24 hours uh, almost in shifts to ensure that the genome sequencing program of the Brihan Mumbai Municipal Corporation is efficient and is functional so that we can find out which variant of the coronavirus is prevalent in positive samples in the city of Mumbai and of course other parts as well because Maharashtra and Mumbai have been the worst affected in the coronavirus pandemic but also 
the battle against the pandemic has perhaps been fought in an efficient manner here with the kind of expertise, machines, technology that is required to fight the coronavirus pandemic and genome sequencing is perhaps one of the most important methods of fighting the pandemic because that gives us an idea of the strengths and the nature of the virus that we are battling. In Mumbai, with camera person Sanjay Mandal, Saurabh Gupta, NDTV.